Have you ever driven down the beautiful Highway 101 on the central coast of California and seen what looks like brown islands floating out in the sea? Have you ever wondered what lives under those brown islands? Come join marine biologist Terry Lilly and assistant Sue Sloan on once in a lifetime adventure where they did over 1,000 scuba dives off kayaks. At our dive spot, we drop an anchor and also tie up to the kelp. Once we have set the anchor, we start putting on our dive gear. My favorite part of a dive is, is as we start dropping down, I just relax and I feel like I'm in my element and where I need to be. It's a whole new world, just feet below the surface, and our eyes must adjust to the different lighting. And it makes you keenly aware that you have no idea where you're going or what lies below you. It's really quite eerie because people look at the kelp bed and they see this solid mass of kelp on top. But when you drop underneath it, you don't see that. And you see this thin layer of kelp on the top and then these stipes. But when you look back up, you can see the sun coming through the holes in the kelp canopy. It looks like the sun is dancing. It's absolutely one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Many of our dives in areas that no people have ventured into before. And it's like going to a planet deep in space for the first time. I always wanted to be an explorer to find Africa for the first time hundreds of years ago or maybe to go to Mars. And what I realized after doing these dives that we basically have Mars right out here in the ocean. And we're keenly aware of that we're dropping into an environment and going down into an environment that no humans have ever been to, nor have the animals ever seen people. Once we get down through the fish, usually towards the bottom, we normally meet a harbor seal. And these animals can be the goofiest animals in the world. They will zoom right in front of you. They will come right up to the camera, look right in your face, and you can tell they are very curious about what they're seeing. We start our dive on the bottom, and immediately we see many bright colored sea slugs called nudibranchs that breathe through gills exposed on the top of their bodies. They come in every color of the rainbow, but they're incredibly difficult for us to get movies of. In fact, with the current underwater and the surge, oftentimes I'm holding the light with one hand, holding on to a rock with, another, with my other hand, and my feet are directly above me, flowing back and forth in the surge. And at the same time Sue's doing that, I'm actually filming here with one hand on the camera. I have my arm and my leg complete and my shoulder pinned in a crack to try to get myself stable enough. Many times over, a big wave has come through, and I'm filming, and I'm, I'm watching the nudibranch here, not Sue, and all of a sudden the light disappears, and Sue's gone. I mean, literally, gone. I would just be pulled Completely away. washed away. There's hundreds of different anemones that are all brilliantly, brightly, and beautifully colored. They range from these small club-tipped anemones that cover the reef to the giant red fish-eating anemones that actually eat fish. On the central coast here in these places where we have dove at, once again, there hasn't been scientists or biologists or people that have dove there and documented the species. And we really believe there's a number of very unusual species, if not a number of brand new species to science. One of the most unusual ones are these giant matridiums that get to be about three feet long. And I never ever will forget Sue's face when we were dropping down and she saw these big giant anemones that looked like cauliflower growing all over the reef. It was one of the most exciting moments of all of my dives, even our tropical dives. We sometimes don't notice what's right next to us, so I'm lighting some beautiful top snail, and I look over and there's a lingcod laying right next to Terry. These lingcod can grow to be over four feet long and actually live all the way down to 1,500 feet deep. They're one of the most amazing predators in the entire ocean. We have gone to another world. This is such a special place that very few people ever get to visit.